Hey everyone, it's Jackson here. So in this um, YouTube video update, I want to talk about something that has been hitting the internet quite recently. But before I begin, I just want to let you know that this will be my last YouTube video update in my current residence as I'm moving at the end of this week. So I'll keep you guys posted on the move. Um, so without further ado, let's get right into it. So recently there's been a fellow YouTuber named Marina Joyce. Um, and there's been worldwide, um, according to the social media outlets and the certain news in the United Kingdom, um, there's been apparently a worldwide concern with her, and there's even a hashtag created that says, um, Save Marina Joyce. Now, the backstory on this, so Marina Joyce has been doing YouTube for the last three years. Um, since she was 16, she's 19 now. And, um, there's been a lot of uh, creepiness in her most recent videos, the last few, like, few weeks or whatever, a few months, something like that, around there. So I did some investigating. I first got noticed, um, it was in my, um, on my YouTube suggestions. On my YouTube suggestions, it was, it popped up, right? So I took a look and watched the first video, and, and it surprised me a lot what the video um, was about. So I did some, well, I watched some more videos, did some more investigating on my own, and I pieced some things together. Now, I'm not the greatest detective, as, you know, I've been going to law school or, or like, you know, police school or whatever school you need to go to, but I'm not, I am not an idiot either. Now, when it comes to people, I can read people, like, I would say fairly well, as I am a people person, obviously. Um, so I, I can read people and like get a vibe, you know, an energy and, and use some empathy to see, you know, if something is truly going wrong. Um, so when I was investigating, there are things that do not add up. Like in her, like in her videos, like in one of her videos, there was a, there was a shotgun in the back, um, in the background of her bedroom, a shotgun. And then, um, in her other videos, if you look closely, um, if you look closely, um, the last video that she did five, six days ago, um, if you see, if you see the corner here, there's someone going like this with a script telling her where to stand. And every time she looks off camera on her most recent videos, right, she would look like this as though someone is trying to say something to her, you know, through hand motion or whatever. She would look, there would be a look of fear on her face, and then she'd turn back to the camera and look all fine, right? Now, in her, in her last video, it was, it was the most creepiest. Um, there's bars on her on the windows on her house. She says it's for protection, but I don't I don't buy that. Like, yes, yeah, she's a YouTuber. Yes, yeah, she has like a million subscribers or whatever, a million followers or whatever. But there's, she's not big enough to warrant having bars on the inside of the house. They're not on the outside, they're on the inside, as though like you would put bars to cage someone in. Now, also, um, in her most recent video, if you, I have really good hearing. So she has, um, it looks like very well that she has hidden messages in her videos signaling for help. Like, in her most recent video, date, outfit idea or something like that, um, you could hear her say help me and it's very 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 subtle but it is there help me and then in that same video she was with two of her two of her um um youtuber friends right um promoting this line of clothing from a british clothing store and as you can see her even her two friends look terrified look controlled and look forced as she does right and then you can i you can seriously, if you have the ability to slow down the video and enhance the audio, her one friend says help, and then she ends up with me, help me. And it's there, it's it like, it's there, you can see it for your, hear it, whatever, for yourself. It is there, help me. So her friend saying help her, saying me, and then in the beginning, you hear help me. And then you can also, if you, if you listen very closely, you can hear a male heavy breathing, like, Right? And then at the end of the video, you hear a male voice say, great, as the, as the camera is, uh, is like, you know, being done, like the film is done. I the last word here is a male voice, very low, but you can still hear it say, great. And also, 
um, after she was done in the, in the outdoors for that video, she went indoors, indoors, and you can see all up and down her arms, there is significant bruises on her arms and in the back of her neck as well, going down here and then her arms as well. So, and they're not bruises that you'd get from like an accident, a fall, whatever. They're bruises as, um, that looks like they've been inflicted by an individual. So, and I have seen a lot of domestic abuse cases in my life, and I know what domestic abuse looks like. Um, unfortunately, I'm just going to mention this briefly here. My older sister, um, her ex-boyfriend of four years, always beat her and I I have gone I went to that house um, every time she got beat because she would call me and I'd go and, and go and basically save her ass so I know exactly and I've seen firsthand um, of this violence so I know exactly what domestic abuse is so and then sh she has she goes from wearing makeup to no makeup so you can see her naturally and when she looks natural her pupils are so fucking dilated and she looks scared as shit. And then she's looking off to the camera, so somebody's standing there, right? And tw and then twirling, but looking very enforceful, and having a forced smile, but looking scared. And people are like, oh, it's someone helping her record, it might be her mom, stuff like that, it's only natural. Well, what people have failed to read um, in their YouTube videos about this case, what other people fail to realize, a lot of YouTubers have tabloid stands, okay? Tabloid not tabloid, wow, <laughs> tripod stands that they can mount their equipment and film. And a lot of cameras nowadays have the button where you can go record. Okay? So it could be that, that someone, someone is definitely behind the camera, with, without a doubt, because when someone is, they went, okay, in her last video, in the few, first minute or so, when she's outside in her backyard, or what's presumably her backyard, you see a finger pointing like this with a script, basically controlling, directing her where to stand and what to do, right? When someone's behind the camera doing that, they need, they need to do that, right? The camera angle will adjust uh, slightly, but it will be noticeable. The camera angle will adjust so that way you can have the ability to go like this with, with the script, okay? Now, some YouTubers script, some don't, some do sometimes. I never script. I do it naturally. But you can see here a script and a finger pointing like this, basically telling her where to go. So, when you do that, the camera angle will shift. So, it's, it is has a tripod stand, has her equipment on the tripod stand, and someone is standing next or behind the tripod stand out of sight, basically telling her what to do. And every time she looks in that direction, she has fear. Now, to try to put people's mind at ease, she did a live stream on You Now, where she answered questions live, and she kept avoiding questions. People were asking her about the bruises, why she looked scared, why there was a shotgun behind her in the background, why there were bars on her windows, right? And she would dodge those questions really well. And also, in one of her videos, um, she tries to jump in the air, and as she's jumping in the air, you hear something like, as though like there's a chain on her foot. Like you, like clearly hear a chain, a metal chain, right? So, she people even ask her about that metal chain sound. If there's a chain on her ankle, on her foot, what, uh, whatever, right? She immediately changes the topic. And then in the in the you now in the very beginning, first few minutes, something like that, she was showing her bedroom, right? And then a lot of times she was starting a sentence, she would look over, panic automatically, and then she would automatically change that sentence. Change that sentence. And not finish it. And look scared and she was stumbling over her words. You can, um, I noticed her hand at times was shaking. So and she looks traumatized. Now, she could be on some, people are saying that like, she has got schizophrenia, mental illness, um, she's on drugs, yada yada yada. Um, her pupils are dilated, so she might be on some form of a drug, whether it's marijuana or whatever. Schizophrenia, I don't see the signs of schizophrenia. Now, oh my college, I have studied mental, in, uh, mental illnesses, drug, drug um, usage, drug illness, and I have also studied psychology. Now. I'm not an idiot. I can tell when someone's being controlled and manipulated. It looks like she is. Uh, people are saying that ISIS has her. It's 
kind of far-fetched, but then again, nothing in today's world is impossible. So people are saying that ISIS has her, controlling her to do YouTube, and then luring her friends out for, and you know. So there's that theory, and then there's a theory that she has a boyfriend, which she does, and apparently he's um, abusive to her and controls her social media, her YouTube, and her videos, the whole nine yards, and, um, and then also physically abuses her, not so can explain the bruises. So, she keeps dodging a question, and her mom's backing up her story, but let me tell you this. Yes, her mom is there with her in the house, I would say. I would, like, that's obvious, right? But let me tell you something. If someone is being controlled, whether it's an abusive partner or it is someone of a terrorist or a gang, right? They're so sophisticated that they know how to even control the parents. To make the parents go with it and make, you know, whether it's extortion, bribery, torture, I, the parent, it's it's very easy. Yes, parents have parental instincts, but it's still very easy to get a parent to go along with them for the sake and safety of their child. So it's very possible that the mother is being controlled. Now, a fan got really um, paranoid and called the police, and got and the police went to her house and did what they call a wellness check on her and check on her parents and everything. And according to an official police statement. Um, According to an official police statement um, that they made on their social media that she was uh, fine, everything was fine, yada yada yada, and then she went to Twitter and, be, and said, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, don't call the police, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Now, if you're really controlled, right, and you see cop cars pulling up, or you actually, if you're the controller, the abuser or whatever, you know right off the bat, there's a good chance, especially when you're a successful YouTuber like Marina Joyce, there's a good chance that you already know in the back of your head that somebody might call the police to do a wellness check. So you're already prepared for that incident. So once again, the police show that. We could have easily been planned right out that everyone in the house cooperated with the police and, and staged the whole thing to make it look like nothing was wrong. That is very possible. It has happened before to other people. That is very possible. So the... So by the police saying that, I don't buy it. Because you know what? That they could have prepared for that, which any smart abuser, kidnapper, ISIS, terrorist, gang member, whatever, if they're doing something like that to her, they're they're smart people. They they know how to stage that. So I I'm fifty fifty on the police report. Like, she is fine, but then again, is it was it staged just to lower the suspicions? Who knows, right? So, and then she addresses um, about the gun in the back. It says that it was a BB gun. Um, I am sorry, and I'm going to double check on this right now before I make any um, assumptions on my own. Um, BB gun rifle. Because it looks exactly like a rifle. Yeah, no, it doesn't, to me, it doesn't match the pictures. To me, it looks more um, deadly than a BB gun. And she's saying that it's illegal to have a BB gun in your room in, in the United Kingdom, London, whatever. Right? But, then again, why would you have a BB gun if it is a BB gun in your house, in your bedroom? Like, that does not make sense at all. And then you can, in other videos, you see people poking their head out of a door um, you can see people in, the, in, in a reflection, in a background, in certain areas that she is filming, that there is somebody there. And then there's also, from her um, date outfit idea video, when, they were out, when she was outside, it looked like in a big ass park with two of her friends, there was a, a figure, all in black, taking a still photo of them. And the camera caught that. So. That looks very suspicious. All an all in black individual, you know, with that. So that looks very suspicious. So at the end of it all, when I look at it and I see everything before, she was completely different. Not now in the most few recent videos, let's say a few weeks at least, everything has changed. She looks terrified, and then she keeps like and put tweet tweets on her Twitter about, um, are you in danger or stuff like that, right? And then. People have in the live feed and on social media have said, if you're in danger, do this, say this, do this. She automatically does that, but then, but then 
she gets a fear of panic when looking over here, as though something is there, and then she changes the whole topic again. So she's, to me, she's trying to reach out, but then again, she has to retract only because the abuser, the controller, whoever is there, whether it's the boyfriend or ISIS or whoever, she, ha <coughs> she has to, you know, right after she does that. And then she's been doing the signs and people have been picking up on it and she's been trying to hide, she's been hiding it very well despite that there's a good possibility that her, all her social media, her Instagram, her YouTube, um, her Facebook, her Twitter, it's all being controlled by some individual. So, and then one YouTuber said that there's a good chance that she's already dead and that these are pre-recorded videos and pre-took, um, pre-shotted images of her just to make it look like she's still alive after being controlled. Um, that's pretty far-fetched. She is still alive. She did a live stream and then she did, uh, other YouTubers did a Skype interview with her, which again, looks like she's being controlled, forced, she looks, she doesn't, she doesn't, she looks frightened and she, to still the evidence that someone's there watching her. So, she is alive, but she is being, um, I firmly believe there is some force behind her, forcing her to do videos and scaring her and abusing her, whether it's a, a boyfriend or whether it is actually ISIS. And that this, and that you've been staging things and, and uh, prepare and like being prepared, staging things, um, so that way to lower the suspicions. And now also, one last thing, she's um, tweeted on Twitter about meeting her at 6.30 a.m. At, at some area, I forget the name, uh, for a party. Now, other YouTubers have got reports from people who live in that area in the United Kingdom that that area where she said to meet me at 6.30 a.m. and also bring your friends so that way you don't get lost. Really weird, right? There's been a lot of shootings and killings and crime related activities in that area. And then she was pop apparently she was linking it to some big ass party outside, right? And then, but the party is in August. That party um, that she was she was going to inviting people to come and bring your friends so they don't get lost. So that doesn't add up. And then after some other people investigated, people started saying, "Do not go to this meetup for the sake of Marina and yourself. Do not, even if you're curious, do fucking do not go." this meetup. I would say the exact same thing. Everyone who's, who's thinking about going out of curiosity, do not go to that meetup because it looks very suspicious. It could easily be a setup by the abuser, by anybody, whoever it is, it could be a setup and, there's a, and then um, for anything to go down. So do not go to that event. Now she said on a Twitter shortly after, unfortunately due to recent events in my uh, whatever, um, the time has been changed, so here's the date and the time you can get her, have a party, and she was linked then once again to the to this big party that's already been advertised in the UK in her area. But it looks very suspicious, so I would say do not go out to that area, but, and um, because of that Twitter post, um, the authorities yet again have gotten involved, but yet again, whoever's doing this to her, have already prepared for that. So this is a very sophisticated issue, she hasn't... Um, Every time she tries to speak out, she changes it, like, it's just really weird, okay? Really weird. The evidence, the signs are there that she's being abused and someone is controlling her, whether it's an ex or a terrorist group or whatever. But things do not add up. Do your own research online if you want to. Things do not add, just, things just don't add up with her. And it's very scary. Like, I don't know, I don't know what, what else to say, but it does not add up at all whatsoever. So. Do your own investigation if you like. Um, my belief is that someone is behind the scenes doing um, extortion, bribery, abusing her, controlling her social media for whatever A, B, or C reason. I do believe she's still alive, but I also do believe that she, she is being manipulated, controlled, and tortured, abused, whatever. That's just my personal opinion. So, if you guys have any comments, if any, please feel free to comment down below here. And also, if you share this video, please in your description on social media, include the hashtag SaveMarinaJoyce, as that hashtag is getting around right now. So hashtag SaveMarinaJoyce in your description if you, if you share this video, but comment down below here. And um, I will be following this very closely and once there's an official verdict by her. Now, I don't know if the United Kingdom is a I think they're a day ahead of us, but anyway, she, so every Friday her time, um, she uploads a new video to YouTube. So hopefully 
should be today if they're a day behind or a day ahead or something. Something like that. But she should be uploading a YouTube video today or tomorrow. So I'm here in Canada, so don't quote me in the time zone. I'm using time zone today, it's Thursday, so I don't know. But whatever. So hopefully her next video is back to men look creepy, suspicious, I don't know, we'll see, but I will be following this case very closely. As a fellow YouTuber, um, this is very scary for anybody to go through, and um, I just want to follow this and get the official verdict on this and come back on online here and be like, okay, hey, this is what really happened, and then follow up on this video here. So I will be following this very closely. Um, so without further ado, once again, feel free to comment your thoughts of any down below here. And as always, folks, don't ever, ever forget to comment, share, and subscribe. I'll catch you guys all on the flip side. Bye for now.